first noble order of chivalry stages its proud parade of medieval pomp and ceremony. Almost as rare as coronations are garter processions to the shrine of the order in St. George's Chapel, Windsor. The names of the knight's companion read like a page of history. Beaufort, Baldwin and Norfolk, Devonshire, Derby and Crewe. Prince Arthur of Connaught walks in front of the Dukes of Gloucester and Kent. And then comes Queen Mary, a regal figure in her heavy mantle of royal blue and black velvet cap with white plumes. And at the end of the stately procession come the King and Queen. Solemnly, the knights file up the steps of the chapel for the service. Twenty-eight is the full strength of the order, twenty-three attend today, each knight companion having his own appointed stall. Coming out of the chapel, the knights precede their king and queen on the return procession to the Waterloo chamber. Lord Harwood walks a few paces ahead of his elder son, Lord Lassells, page to Queen Mary. And finally, at the climax of the procession again, the Sovereign of the Order and his consort, Her Majesty making an observation to the King with that happy air of mutual confidence which exists between them. Beached on Maplin Sands, the Royal Archer with about 120 passengers on 